We are back now to talk about some of those common aches and pains that we all get, and we are going to separate fact from fiction. So here to help is chiropractor Alessandra Colon, founder and CEO of Miss Chiropractic Wellness and Spa in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. She is also the star of TLC's hit show, Crack Addicts. Woo! <laughs> she tackles some of the most Ouch. extreme and debilitating physical conditions. <laughs> Alessandra, I, I love watching this because it's like that release oh. when you know you get that crack. But before we get to our first fact versus myth, what do you want people to know about chiropractic care? I think that chiropractic is safe, it's gentle, it's effective. The entire purpose of chiropractic is really to reduce inflammation of the spine by promoting mobility, taking that pressure off the nervous system mm -hmm. so that you can function as your optimal self. Okay, and you get a good sound to go along yes. with it. Okay, so let's start. Fact versus myth. Right. Sleeping on your back is the best sleeping position. I, mm. I would say fact. No. I think it's a myth. Myth. I'm just more comfortable when I myth. sleep on my back. This what is a myth, it's guys. A myth. Now, while sleeping on your back is totally okay, it's great, it's more advantageous to actually sleep on your side. You can reduce things like sleep apnea, heartburn, but I'll kind of show you guys. Okay. It's even better to sleep on your side. Take one pillow. You'll notice right here there's a curvature. It's that mm -hmm. nice support. You're going to put it right at the base of your neck and then take another pillow right between your legs okay. for the best spinal alignment. Hmm. That's a lot of pillows going on. I thought ladies like all the pillows. <laughs> yeah, I got like ten of them. Yes. Okay. I love it. You have, is this my turn yes. now? It's funny though because I, I, my shoulder hurts when I sleep on the side. But anyway, okay, we'll talk about that. One. All right, let's do this that. one. Fact or myth: Cracking your knuckles does not cause arthritis. Now, I remember when I was in middle school, I heard that, that was true. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say fact. I think myth. I think uh, does not cause arthritis. That's a fact. You were right. It is, this is a fact. Oh, it it is a true right. question. So actually, a recent Harvard study showed there's absolutely zero correlation between arthritic changes and cracking is your knuckles. Is it bad to crack your knuckles? No, that noise you're hearing is really just an exchange of gases and fluid between the joints. Okay. It's really but satisfying. It, it, is. it is. Trust me, I'm a, I'm a chiropractor. Obviously, I love the cracking. <laughs> um, but ideally, what you want to do, because it can lead to decreased grip strength, oh. if you're feeling like you need to stretch those knuckles out, just take this finger, stretch them out back into extension, and see okay. if that helps. Just I also, I shouldn't say it, but I'm going to say it, do a little gentle pull. That's really? All. Just yeah. a little, little gentle, not a, not a, uh, uh. All right, so here's our next one, <laughs> back versus myth, guys. Here we go. Wearing flat shoes is best for alleviating back and foot pain. I have no idea. Flat I shoes. I feel like that would be a fact. No? This is a myth. Now, really? guys, I clearly uh, don't I mean, want to all of this. Okay? <laughs> um, now, it's a myth. Now, while wearing five inch heels is definitely not the best thing to do, neither is flats. Really? It's actually best to wear one inch heel or a supportive shoe all together. Okay. But you need to support it also with a good foot insole. Okay. Now, you could probably get like a good foot insole from a local store here. It's more affordable. Okay. But a custom orthotic is genuinely where it's at. Why? Because it has three arches that make up the plantar vault. This is how you alleviate both lower back and foot so pain. So you get the piece and yes. then you put it in all your shoes? People don't realize it. There's one here on the lateral, the medial, and the inside scoop here, right? So keeping nice and balanced in that gate. Are you taking them out and putting them on all your shoes or do you have to do it, is it one specific well, I'm shoes? Well, I'm a weirdo. I have them in all my shoes. Really? <laughs> yes. And by the way, what they'll do is you need to take the actual insole that's in your shoe and, and put it in. It? Don't put it on top. Oh. You can't double down. All right, Al's turn. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, next, yoga balls as chairs burn more calories and improve your posture. Uh, I'm going to go fast. I'm going to say fast. Gosh, I love these guys. Um, this is actually a myth. Really? Yes. Okay. Um, so That's during the ball. pandemic, the sales of yoga balls went up by 60 Seven uh percent. -huh. The idea was that it took more exertion of your body yeah. to be upright and stable. Okay. However, people generally just slump just as much in a chair or not. Right. And I'm going to demonstrate, guys, in heels, okay. by okay. the way. So if you're going to sit on a yoga ball or a chair, right. woo, it's tell it me was the know. thing there for a while. But are, they, are they worthwhile? Well, just shift your side back to back to decrease low back stiffness. Uh -huh. But if you're going to sit, it doesn't right. matter if it's a yoga ball or if it's a chair. Okay. okay. Make sure to adhere to the rules of 90 degrees, right? Okay, okay guys, I'm not going to fall sure. today. Okay. No. <laughs> you got gotcha. your shoulders, you have your elbows, your hands. Pull the mouse nice and tight. None of this junk here, right? Yeah. You want your hips, you want your knees, and those feet. Now, I'm a shorty. So if your feet don't hit the ground, that's totally fine. Put a stool, some books. Equalize and neutralize the playing field. Okay. okay. And now those last one, I've got, I've got a, uh, I've got a standing treadmill desk, so I, I'm walking. Uh -huh. right? But so our standing, you know, the factor myth: standing desks are not better for your health. I'm gonna say I, I think it depends. I'm gonna say myth. I'm gonna say myth too. 
It's a fact. Fat why? Wow. This okay. is a fact, but it's technically a trick question. I love that you have a walking one. Why? And I'll tell you why. Because prolonged sitting is not good for your neck or your back. Right. But neither is prolonged standing. Right. Okay, this is why it's a trick question. Why? Because it promotes varicose veins and stiffness in the lower back. So yeah. best to have a sit-to-stand desk or a treadmill in your case, right? So you promote movement and circulation throughout the day. Yeah, I'm always moving. I it's, love it's, that. It's, it only goes to two miles an hour. But uh... Wait, what <laughs> promotes varicose veins? Stand prolonged standing. 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 Look at that. All right. Yeah. Alessandra, okay. thank, thank you so much. You so much. Thank, thank you. That was good. good. First show, Crack Addict, is streaming now on Max and Discovery+. Plus. Clearly, we have a lot of learning to do. I do. Yeah. It's not a yes. slam dunk. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.